Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh my gosh. They're breaking up. This is really exciting because I just pulled the pre-shuffle and straight away they're breaking up. They're breaking up. They're breaking up. They're breaking up. This is breaking news because they, they are breaking up because this person is in love with you. That's why they're breaking up. Truth be told, I'm so sorry. I've got to tell you the truth. Seven of Swords, Tower Moment. This is sudden. This is shocking. They haven't been happy. You've known it. You've stayed out of the way. You haven't said anything. You've seen this as a high priestess. You may have a cat. A white and black cat. A silver cat. A blue cat. I don't know why I'm saying blue, but it looks a little bit bluish. Yeah, maybe bluey eyes. I don't know. It's interesting energy around here. You may spend a lot of time in your garden or have a specific sanctuary. More confirmation for you as well. You may make something um, sp like spiritual. You may have a TikTok or an um, Instagram shorts page. Feel free to put it in the comments section. And you may do like garden mosaics. You do something magical online, I can see it, and you're awesome. You've been minding your business, working on your stuff, independent entrepreneur, you give me feminine energy. There is someone that you love so much, you've seen them, they could be another influencer, they're really, really interesting, they're really, really um, aligned to you. They do what you do? This person does what you do. I'm getting a lot of fruit and vegetables and food, like organic. So you could both be into organic. You could be into art. You could use food to make art. Does that make sense? Art and food come to mind a lot. Art and food, art and food, uh, instruments, music, really natural herbalist vibration coming through, sexy and cute. This person looks like they could have been in a long-term relationship, even married, yeah? Um in a really uh, public relationship. They could have been cheating or upset or arguments, could have been a fight or disagreement with somebody's dad. Either way, something happened, that relationship is over. And this person, I don't know how long it's been over for, right? But I see this person coming towards you. I really do, yeah? I know it's not the best way to go, but the fact that I came in the reading, I said, oh my God, they're breaking up! Because I can see the breakup over here. And then the cot, this is how you know this is for you, right? Because Seven of Swords Tower moment, I thought, oh my gosh, what is happening in Scorpio's life? Then I saw High Priestess and the Sun, Major Arcana, two Major Arcanas. Then I saw the Justice card and the Six of Wands, one Major Arcana and the Six of Wands, Justice, Victory. Ooh, like, this is balance. This is karma. This is karmic justice. This is a humongous deal. This is a massive win. This is karmic debts paid. This is the karmic out of the situation. This is divine masculine and divine feminine coming together after toxic bullshit. Someone was trapped in a karmic cycle. The chariot and the king of cups. This is your person. Deep. You could. This could be your ex. Yeah. This could be a best friend or an ex, someone you loved very much, someone you really, really cared about. And the truth of the matter is, it was imbalanced. They were heartbroken. You knew it because you're high priestess energy and you're happy. You're in your highest vibration. You're living your best life. You look sexy. You could do nudes. You could be into porn i'm just saying because i see a lot of nudity hair and some sexy outfits or you could really wear some risque outfits when you're out in the um like i want to say forest jungle lake you do some kind of really beautiful um spiritual stuff you give me um coven wicker spiritual witch a uh, really stripped back naked um bearing it all making beautiful art and mud and clay and mosaics in the mud and sand like you do amazing stuff you're out in nature you're living your best life you're solitary on your own in your power for some reason you know who your masculine is your divine masculine is and you feel them you i don't know how they're connected to you they are close to you though or you see them in vision you see them in dream you see them online either way this breakup is shifting everything your way because the justice card and the six of wands is your man is here. Your man is free and single now. Your divine masculine is now awake. I'm going to keep diving because I want to see this union. I want to know how long he's not been with this feminine. And what's going on here? Let's see. Tell us more about Scorpio and this love situation. Empress, yep.
if this is an ex, right, they know it's you. That's why you're in the energy. Because your ex knows that you are their true love. I don't know why you broke up with your ex. A new beginning. A new beginning in work, career. They move location. Something shifted in their life. Shifted in their life. Which brought an end to you. I don't think you ended on bad terms. Maybe you were dating. Maybe it wasn't that serious. Either way, they kind of come up like your ex in energy. But they may not be officially an ex. Either way, they still remember the love they have with you. They've been seeing you and your energy. They still have a moment with you in their mind. That is top trumps to any other moment they've ever had with a feminine in their life. And that memory they have with you, Emperor out do you see what i mean emperor just came out on top of the high priestess and he's thinking on top of his energy empress on top of your energy emperor he's thinking about you all the time he's not he hasn't been happy in the relationship he's been in he's been lying to himself about the connection that he's been in and he's been tr he tried to be strong about it but he's long been grieving what he had with you no one's been able to meet and match what he's had with you yeah he looks like he was in a serious relationship as well. Maybe six years here. I get six, six months it could have been, even. I know I say long, but six months could be long for some of you guys. But it's given six. Six months to three years. Or should I say three months to six months? If this is a sudden shift. But then also, I say want to say three, three months to three years. Three years to six years, all right? However, that makes sense, yeah. That six is out again now with the six of pentacles. You, good for you, high priestess. Good for you, empress, because straight away, six of pentacles, you mind your business and went on with your life. You mind your business and you got on with your life. You said, whatever's going on, we're over, nothing's going on here, let me move on with my life, yeah? And the truth of the matter is, oh my goodness. You've been single and on your own. This person has been in a relationship. But the whole time that you've been single on your own, this person has been watching you, thinking about you in a relationship with them whilst they're in the relationship. So clearly, if you're high priestess and high levels, you're going to pick up on that vibration to a certain degree. You, you've been thinking about this masculine, but this masculine has been pining over you. It's different because every day he's been in this connection with this other person. He feels in his heart and his soul, in his sacral chakra, that it isn't quite right because he sees you as his divine counterpart, as his twin flame. He sees you as divine feminine. And he doesn't see that in the connection that he's been in. And he's been really unsatisfied and potentially really depressed and really low. Yeah? Normally, if this is a, a, a person you would speak to casually, or you would see it now and then they don't you don't see them anymore at all yeah you've gone out you've got out of the way and mind your business you're not involved in this at all but there is some kind of energy of them watching you and seeing you they keep thinking that you're with someone else and that is eating them up the thought of someone else being with you breaks them down they've been with someone else while you've been single and they are burdened at the thought of you being with someone else crazy how it works in the mind because they're so worried about you being with someone else it is causing them anguish in their heart but they're the ones that's been with someone else and you've been single the whole time just manifesting and living your truth and that's how god works that's how light works that's how energy works because you truly are in your power and you are giving to yourself feminine well done scorpio well done well done because you don't see this energy every day and you don't see the feminine and her power like this all the time you are oozing and dripping divine feminine hell yeah and this is a woke the masculine because the he cannot bear the idea that you could go off and get married and settle down and have a life and be with someone else have a kids have a family build this beautiful sanctuary in life whatever you do i get like i get fruit and vegetables over and over again i get forestry i get lakes i get outdoors i get shrines and ecosystems like the idea that you could go off and build this life that you are manifesting without him is such a painful situation that it's forced him to really break free of anything that isn't his truest flame his true heart's desire, his biggest wish fulfillment. And that's been a wake up call to him because he's been manifesting you, to be honest. He had no idea he was manifesting you. Now he's like, I want her. I don't want anyone else. I want her. 
I have to take this risk. I have to move in this direction. She is my wish fulfillment. I don't want anyone else but her. I only feel for her. I have to make sure this other connection is done. I have to be clear about who I am and what I want moving forward. I can't go back to anyone else. I can't be with anyone else. I can't deny how I really feel inside because that is my woman. That is my high priestess. That is my divine feminine. That is my twin flame. Imagine having a breakdown like that or a breakthrough like that to just go, oh my God, that person there is my other half, my twin flame, my be all and end of it. And the, the mere thought of them being with someone else is tearing me apart and I'm with someone else. I'm actually with someone else, but I don't really want to be with them and that's dawning on me now. And even worse than that, I do not want to even consider that this person can get with someone else and not be with me because it will break me yeah this person is horrified every time i say that my sacral chakra starts going crazy so i know this person has no ability to accept the idea of you settling down and having this life with anyone else other than them and that is just really upsetting and really painful and potentially gives them a lot of stomach ache and cramps and um internal issues with the stomach the gut is screaming for acceptance do you get what i mean it's, it's not only a situation where they have to accept this because it makes them feel internally off in the sacral but it's like if they don't accept it or by accepting it they're awakening to the fact that you are it for them and that is a epiphany tower moment in their reality because they didn't expect that to be you i don't know how you met i don't know how you fold into each other's lives but you do and whether or not you were really serious this person sees you as like it gives me x energy without being an x so it's kind of like they've had something with you in the past enough to know that you're it enough for there to be a memory there that is the supreme memory of all memories in in love and light and truth to what they want and what they believe their other half should be you are their balance temperance now flying out the deck they see you as the, their completion they're burdened without you knowing that because they've spent a long time pining for you this has affected their emotions this has forced them to change their life and move away from anything they realize they don't have control over you in this situation as well and it brings up a lot of fear because god forbid you go off and meet someone new before they are healed and ready to approach you but they they have a vision of you a memory of you a specific time where whatever happened with you with you guys it was the epitome of what they call love so they've had this love moment with you that is top trumps to any other love moment they've ever had in their life and they see you as it and they want you they need to clean up whatever else is going on and whatever fallout occurred because of this because it looks like they're talking to a best friend about it it looks like they're talking to maybe a brother about it it looks like they're trying to really establish um what happened in the past with you where things have been left with you what to do about their ex or how to be honest with their ex about how they feel about you now and move towards you without creating awkward issues and if, you, if they've just broken up they need time you know like in the sevens here so i would say like seven weeks at least to really get themselves together before even approaching you because there's nothing worse than someone just breaks up with someone and they're like yeah i broke up last week but i'm really into you i love you it's like you broke up last week yeah your ex is still up in your aura like maybe fix that first right it's not it's not the cutest way to go so i'm gonna say seven weeks on the timestamp for this for the energy to really clear for you to just focus feminine come on you're a boss bitch and you clearly know that right you're a high priestess empress savage in the game keep doing you um potentially seven weeks from now we could be looking at union but we do have a lot more readings to come out on this channel and a lot more um
channeled messages to come out over on my other channel, um, Her 7D Consciousness. So we can dive in over the next seven weeks, Scorpio, and see what happens next. But this, this masculine has to deal with a lot of stuff in regards to truth. And I'm owning how he really feels about you and dealing with the, um, the fallout from the ex dealing with um, family members, maybe maybe that person's brother, maybe that person's um, auntie, sister, cousin. I mean, it's about clearing up the um, collateral damage, I wanna say, because there's other people here. I see him talking to a best friend. I see auntie, mother. I see brother, sister. There's family and other people around, so... Um, it looks like there is collateral damage if this person's been in a long-term relationship or even married, been married for seven years and suddenly now you're leaving your wife of seven years to go over there to who you're claiming is your twin flame. That's not going to suit the family well, is it? Come on. Oh, you're, after seven years, you're going back to your ex who you're now saying is your twin flame, but you've been married to me. How long have you felt this way? Awkward awkward conversation stay out the way feminine nothing to do with you you're not involved you didn't create this tower moment you are living in your light truth as is the masculine everyone has to work through their own karmic debt and we'll find out what's going on with this seven weeks from now love and light